Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name's Missy. Today's video is part of the five under five DIY challenge. And the theme this month is tiered tray decor. We're gonna talk about that in just a few minutes, but for right now, we're gonna get right into it. DIY number one. So how can you make tiered tray decor without a tiered tray? So I'm just gonna show you a quick and easy way to make some, a tiered tray from Dollar Tree Supplies. I am just taking two of these round Hello Autumn signs, removing the jute and all of the embellishments. Then I'm going to take these half inch button plugs that I get from the Home Depot, and we are going to glue them all around both of these circles. These just, I'm trying to get them to mimic like farmhouse beads. I think it turns out really cute. I cannot remember the exact number that I used, so I apologize for that. But we just go around and hot glue these on both of these circle signs. This is so simple, but yet so cute. I absolutely love how this turns out. And this is a tiered tray, y'all, for like four bucks. And I just love how it turns out. After we get that done, we're gonna take some Waverly chalk paint and we are going to give two good coats on both of these circles. Here on the bottom, and of course, we're going to paint the beads. My first coat is always just the messy coat, just trying to get that wood covered or that particle board, whatever that is. So after we get that first coat done, we just do another good coat. Again, we're doing the center, all the beads, and then around the perimeter of the uh, outside of the circle, just because some of that particle board shows through there. And I do the same exact thing again to both of the circle signs. You could probably get away with one coat if you want it to be a really rustic looking tray. I just liked the full coverage of the two coats. Again, it's not, it's still a little rustic looking, but I just like the the coverage of the two full coats. But y'all know how, what I say, this is your DIY, make it yours. Do whatever you want to it and use any color you want. After we get that finished, we're going to take some of these square blocks from the Dollar Tree, the mini square blocks, and glue them on the bottom of one of the signs. And that's just so it doesn't sit flat on our table. We've just got a little bit of height on it. After that, we're gonna take one of these galvanized buckets with the twine at the top. And this is going to be the center of our tiered tray. I just used some fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue and we just glue that right to the center of the first circular circle sign. I can't talk today, I apologize y'all. After we get that glued on there, eh, y'all know how I am about measuring. I get it as close as I can <laughs> to the center. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our fix all adhesive and glue the other circle on. And that is it. How simple for a tiered tray. Here, I usually show y'all a reveal, but we're gonna hold that off until the end so you can see all of the decor on it. So again, this is part of the five under five challenge hosted by myself and Emily at Farm Charm Chic. And our guest host is Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. Make sure you go check those two ladies out and also check out this awesome playlist. Right back into the DIYs, y'all, DIY number two. For this one, I'm going to take one of the little wooden boxes from the Dollar Tree, or wooden cubes, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Tree. And I got this um, garland from Walmart for like three bucks. But I'm not counting it as three dollars because I cut it all apart. So I take off four of those metal pumpkins and we're gonna put those to the side. Now we're going to take some burnt orange paint and we are going to paint all of this block except for one side of it. You don't need to worry about the bottom. Then I just take my snips and I'm taking all of the metal pieces that were hanging on the back to make this a garland of the pumpkins. I've got four of these pumpkins in different sizes. Now we're just basically making a little pumpkin topiary. So I'm just gluing the pumpkins with some fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue to each other uh, in a topiary format, I guess. But I decided to start gluing on the back instead of the front because it makes it so much easier. And then we can add a little bit of extra hot glue at the end to reinforce, which is what you'll see me doing right there. So we're basically just gluing these one on top of the other, all four of them. Once we get that finished, I forget what I do, so let me hold on just a second, y'all. 
Y'all know how I am with these voiceovers. Okay, now we're taking some leaves that I cut off some picks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use these to embellish this a little bit. Just gluing them on the back and letting them stick out the front. This turns out super cute when it's finished, but it's a lot of embellishment. So I'm just going to kind of take you through what I do for these steps. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our fix all adhesive and our hot glue, and we're going to glue our topiary right to the block. And the block is basically just used as something for this to stand up with because the pumpkins themselves wouldn't have stood up. So that's all I really use the box for. After that, we're going to take some of these greenery lights from the Dollar Tree that I got, and we're just going to wrap this around the pumpkin topiary. And after we get that finished, we're just going to take the box with the uh, batteries in it and we're going to just adhere that on the back of the little cube there with some hot glue super simple and that way when you need to change the batteries you can always do that because it's not covered up now we're going to take some tubing mesh tubing from the dollar tree make a super simple shoestring bow glue it right to the top of the topiary and then take some more of that and we're just going to glue it to the sides there just to kind of maybe look like twigs or something hanging out from the pumpkins this turned out super super cute i love how it turned out i hope y'all like it then we're going to take one of these maroon berries glue it right to the center of the bow and that is it super simple and again this probably didn't even cost two dollars i did add a little sticker at the bottom there but i think it's adorable Thank y'all so much for joining me in this today. If you like my channel, you like my DIYs, I would love if you would support me by subscribing and liking my video and leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think of all my DIYs. You can also buy me a coffee if you'd like. I'll have that link in the description box. DIY number three, y'all, we're just moving right along. So I went to Target Dollar Spot, I can't talk again, and they had a tiered tray starter kit. And it came with all of these little pieces, five pieces for $5. I loved it, I thought it was so cute, but I am not a pink person. It may not look like it, but these are all a really light pink. So I'm gonna take it and we're just gonna redo them. So we're gonna take this first little sign, take off the hanger, I did save it because I thought I might use it, but I ended up not using the hanger. We're going to take some Craft Smart acrylic paint in olive green, and we are going to have to give this three good coats. Because this is a plasticky sign, that paint, it took three good coats to get it to stick. I paint the front and all of the sides. After that, I did put a little Hello Pumpkin a uh, piece that I cut off my Cricut and y'all I'm sorry I don't know what happened to that footage but it just says hello pumpkin and now I'm just taking some leaves and another one of those little metal um, pumpkins from the garland and we are going to glue that on there then just take a little sunflower and glue it right to the middle and then add some greenery and a bow this is one of those projects that you can embellish any way you like you do not have to do it exactly like i do i love these colors for fall this year but y'all again make it your own make it fit your home decor totally simple and here's what it turned out turned out like and y'all this was just a dollar i love the hello pumpkin saying okay y'all we're moving right into diy number four Another piece that came from the uh, Tear Trace Starter Kit from Kroger, not Kroger, oh, from the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I'm thinking of Kroger because I have to go get a few things for supper tonight, y'all. So we're just going to take our plaster Waverly chalk paint. Again, three good coats on this. That way it covers it completely, gives a nice coverage. Front and sides is all that I do. Now I do have where I made the decal for this. Now this, I'm going to tell you, I, as you all know, I just got a Cricut Joy, and it's so much easier because of the traveling that I do to take the Cricut Joy with me than it is to take my Cricut Maker. But I want to give a warning. This is a not actually about the Cricut Joy. This is about the Smart Vinyl. If you use Smart Vinyl, use the Cricut Transfer Tape. You all know that I usually do not use Cricut Transfer Tape because I am not a fan of it. But any other i had three other kinds of transfer tape all the others would not it would go onto the transfer tape 
but it would not come off of the transfer tape onto this project. So my advice, and I don't know a lot, <laughs> but y'all seem to come to me for things that I do. And my advice is to definitely, on Smart Vinyl, use the Cricut transfer tape. It makes it so much easier. Now I do take my time because sometimes the Cricut, Cricut transfer tape can be so strong it will pull off your paint. It did not on here, but I had to use it just because of the Smart Vinyl. Now I'm just going to take a lot of this little greenery and some leaves that I picked off some picks from the Dollar Tree. I love these little red ones uh, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And again, we're just going to embellish this up and make it our own. Make it go with the colors that I love for fall. But again, this is one of those projects. Y'all make it your own. You embellish how you want to do it. These are all totally just ideas for things and to show you how I, I like to decorate and how I like to embellish things. I think this turned out super cute and for a tiered tray, it is the perfect piece in my opinion. Then I just take some more of the leaves come, that come off a pick from the Dollar Tree, glue them on the back and a little pumpkin and glue it right there in the middle of all the greenery. That's it y'all, how super simple was that? And here we go, falling leaves and autumn breeze. I just love how this turned out. We are now on to DIY number five. And this is the pumpkin that came in that tiered trade kit and a little, I guess this is a candle cup or something from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But we're going to take, first we're going to take our plaster Waverly chalk paint and we are going to do two good coats on our little candle cup here. That's all it takes uh, because I do want it to be a little distressed and we'll distress it a little more later. Actually, I take that back. It was not two coats. One good coat of the plaster on this right here. Then we're going to take our pumpkin, take our burnt orange uh, acrylic paint and we're going to paint the entire pumpkin with two good coats. I do the front and the sides. I don't worry about the back, but I'm trying to not get on the stem as much because we will paint that in just a minute. So two good coats again, the front and all of the sides of this little pumpkin. And this pumpkin stands up perfectly on its own if you don't want to add it to the little candle cup. I got this blessed sign out, or blessed cutout out of a pack from the Hobby Lobby that had thankful, grateful, and blessed for a little of nothing, y'all, on the 40% off. So I just take that and I use our olive green color and we are just going to paint that up real well. I love these little cutouts and honestly I think it only came to like a dollar something possibly two dollars for all three of the words and I think you get two of each word so after we do that we are going to take the blessed and we are going to glue that right oh no no sorry I'm getting ahead of myself first we paint our stem with some burnt umber from our Tesa. next we're going to take our blessed cutout no, we don't, y'all. I don't even know what I'm doing. I do take that burnt umber and do a little bit of highlighting our pumpkin here just to give it a little of dimension, just so it's not just a plain orange pumpkin. I am not a painter by any means, but I actually think this turned out really cute and gave it the dimension that I wanted to see. Then we're going to go ahead and distress our candle cup just a little bit more. Now we are finally going to glue our blessed cut out onto our pumpkin nothing major just some hot glue glue it right there in the center after we do that we are going to take the entire pumpkin and we are going to glue that to our candle cup again this is just a step that i took you do not have to do this because that pumpkin does stand up by itself but i wanted to give a little bit of height to my tiered tray so and i already had these candle cups so that's why i went ahead and did that after that we are just going to take some of this vine garland that i get from hobby lobby in the wedding section curl it around our finger a little bit and stick it right to our stem and that is it this is what this project turned out like again one of my favorites i absolutely love it Thank you all for joining me today for this video. I always look forward to the five under five challenge and it is so, here's our final reveal, sorry y'all. It is so much fun for me to work with Emily at Farm Charm Chic. 
Oh, I can't talk. She is one of the best people I know, and I love her to death. Don't forget to check out the playlist. And thanks again so much for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?